Hello everyone, this is Geo Echidna, and I'd like to present the Battlefield 5 Krog Jurgensen vs. Real Life. The Krog Jurgensen is one of the more popular rifles in Battlefield 5's recon class and multiplayer. Prized for its accuracy, relatively high rate of fire for a bolt action, and its trademark unique appearance compared to other rifles in the class. It was also the first weapon in the game after the prologue that players spend any significant amount of time with, being the first weapon they were equipped with in the icy single-player campaign of Nordless. In this video, I will compare Battlefield 5's depiction of the rifle in-game to a real Krog Jurgensen, switching back and forth between gameplay and real-life shooting footage. But first, let's take a brief dive into the history of the storied Krag as it's commonly known today. The mid to late 1880s was a wild, awkward, and frantic time for firearms development. In 1886, France changed the game with their new Lebel rifle, a small bore repeating bolt action rifle designed to fire smokeless powder cartridges. Smokeless gunpowder was a revolutionary new invention that was cleaner burning, less corrosive, allowed for a vastly greater effective range for projectiles, and didn't emit a massive cloud of white smoke after every discharge. Understandably, this development made every other European nation quite nervous. We mustn't panic! We mustn't panic! <laughs> what followed was a mad dash to develop their own small bore smokeless repeating rifles, so as not to be left in the dust by France. Norway's answer would be the Krog Jurgensen. The rifle was jointly developed by Captain Ole Krog of the Konsberg Government Weapons Factory and expert gunsmith Erik Jurgensen. The two men had been working together updating Norway's then-current service rifle, the M1884 Jarman, practically since its inception, but gradually shifted to designing an entirely different rifle, using their innovative new half-capsule magazine. Denmark was the first country to adopt the Krog Jurgensen in 1889 followed by the United States in 1892, and, ironically, its home country of Norway was last to adopt it. At this time in history, Norway and Sweden were in a union ruled by a common monarch, and both kingdoms sought to standardize a new service rifle and its ammunition. After a long political struggle, largely tainted by national pride, the Norwegians and Swedes were able to standardize the new rimless 6.5x55mm cartridge, but Sweden ended up adopting a Mauser design instead. This would later become the Swedish model of 1896, which in my opinion is a better rifle, but Norway liked their in-house design slightly better, and adopted the Krog Jurgensen in 1894. I should mention before continuing that the rifle you see in this video is a Springfield model of 1898, the license-built copy of the Krog Jurgensen designed for the US military. It's chambered for a different rimmed cartridge than the Norwegian Krags, and has several mostly cosmetic design differences, but it's still a Krag through and through, and a damn good one at that. Despite the rifle's odd external appearance, the bolt design is actually quite conventional, and it operates more or less like any other striker-fired bolt action of the era. But we can't talk about the Krag without mentioning its bizarre side-mounted loading gate and unique magazine. On American and Norwegian Krags, it's basically just a hinged door that swings outward, allowing the user to load rounds individually. For 1889, this was considered perfectly adequate, but the inability of the design to use stripper clips for faster loading was definitely a detriment. The unique half-capsule magazine also added weight and complexity to the design, though in my opinion it does counterbalance the rifle quite well.
The Krog Jurgensen also uses something called a magazine cutoff, which essentially converts the rifle to a single shot, allowing single loading while keeping the loaded magazine disconnected from the bolt to conserve ammunition. At the end of the day, the Krog Jurgensen is a fun and effective weapon to use in Battlefield 5. As per usual, DICE's weapon models are among the best in the gaming industry, and the Battlefield 5 Krag looks and sounds great, and does the actual rifle justice. This particular rifle is one of the coolest in my entire collection, being a shockingly pristine example considering it was manufactured in 1898, and its reliability and otherworldly smoothness is intact 123 years later. It's a shame that the Krog Jurgensen has pretty much exclusively been used in shitty imperialist conflicts and while getting steamrolled by Nazi Germany. However, the rifles themselves are excellent, if undeniably obsolete in the modern era. Thankfully, today we're able to enjoy the Krag safely on a shooting range, or digitally from the comfort of our own homes. And for the latter, Battlefield 5 does the job just fine. Mm. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. Geo Echidna, signing off.